Okay, so this will be the solution for question number four from the sample IB exam, uh, paper one. So here we've got that log of x is equal to p and log of y is equal to q. And then we're just going to use properties of logarithms to, to simplify these four expressions through the a, b, c, and d. So recall, so our, for our first one here, we have log of x times y. Recall that if you have a product, we can break this logarithm up, and it will break it up using addition. So the product of, so we have the product x times y, we're taking the logarithm of that, and when we break it up, we'll just get log of x plus log of y. Okay, so it doesn't, again, it doesn't break up as multiplication, it breaks up as addition. And now it's just simply going to be a matter of replacing, okay, we know that log of x is equal to p, and we know that log of y is equal to q. So our expression will just turn into the into p, p plus q, and that's it. So same idea for the next one. Instead of multiplication here, we've got division. We've got x squared divided by y. And well, if you can remember that a, a product breaks up as addition, if you had to guess, right, it's probably a good guess that division might turn into subtraction, and that's what happens. So, whoops, my color changed there. So here we've got, so we'll take log of x squared, and then we'll have a minus log of y. And we're going to do another step here, too. So recall that if you have an exponent, like we do here on our x, that comes out as a coefficient. So that first expression is going to turn into 2 times log of x, Again, we have minus log of y, and again, we'll just replace. So now we're going to have 2 times, well, log of x is equal to p, and log of y, again, is equal to q. So we'll be left with the expression 2p minus q. So c is the same idea that we just use with our exponents. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this. So we've got log of the square root of x, but recall that the square root of x is simply x raised to the one-half power. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pull that exponent out front. So we'll have one-half of log of x. And again, we'll just replace our log of x with p. So we'll be left with one-half of p. Or if you wanted to, you could write that as p over 2. And last but not least, we've got log of 100 multiplied by y. So this will be like part A. We can break this up as addition. So we'll have log of 100 plus log of y. Now, recall when we write log, this is really log base 10. So what we have to think about, so recall, so one last little thing here. So if we have log base a of y equals, let's say, x, so this is total separate thing here, we can turn this into an exponent by writing a to the x equals y. So really it says to simplify this, so imagine I wanted to simplify this logarithm, log base a of y, I'm really thinking a raised to what power gives me y a raised to what power gives me y? Well, 10 raised to the, so I'm thinking 10 raised to what power is going to give me 100? Well, 10 squared is 100. So let's see. So this is simply going to turn into the value of 2. And then we've got log of y, which is equal to q. So the last expression will simply turn into 2 plus q, and that'll be your solution for all these.